First, let me thank the organizers, the Arctic Circle Secretariat, the Sasakawa Peace Foundation, and the Nippon Foundation for making this interesting and important event a reality, not least also the support in general of the Japanese government. Your Excellency, Chairman of the Arctic Circle, Mr. Olavo Ragnar Grimson, and the Nippon Foundation Chairman, Mr. Yohai Sasakawa, and President of Sasakawa Peace Foundation, Mr. Atsumi Tsunami. Ministers, Ambassadors, Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen. I stand here on behalf of the Prime Minister of the Faroe Islands, the Honorable Mr. Axel Willemsson Johansson, who was honored to receive the invitation, but who was obliged by other necessary responsibilities. I thank you again for this opportunity to represent the Faroe Islands government at the Arctic Circle Japan Forum. <coughs> under the inspiring and promising heading, Asia and the Future of the Arctic. And surely, Asian countries have a role to play in the future of the Arctic. Being one of the large ocean nations of the Arctic region, situated at the northern rim of the North Atlantic Ocean, the Faroe Islands is sharing the experiences and faith of the other lands and peoples of the Arctic region. This is where we are living with our own language and culture, where we have built a modern society with a modern economy and institutions based on a combination of skillful and sustainable util utilization of natural resources, advanced technological development, and partaking in the international economical and cultural exchanges that uh, through globalization in so many ways have enriched us all. The reality of the global political arena is changing the rule-based system of international politics is under pressure, and the challenges we are facing require us to act. I have heard a Japanese proverb says, vision without action is a daydream, action without vision is a nightmare. The vision of the Faroe Islands is to be a responsible nation in the North Atlantic and Arctic region, a green nation taking the green energy transition seriously and taking real steps making huge investments in order to reach our goal to have 100% of our electricity production from renewable sources by 2030. A green nation that both at home and in cooperation with our neighbors administer the utilization of the living marine resources in a sustainable way. Our actions need to be based on scientific knowledge combined with a positive will to be open for cooperation with other countries and other partners. These are central priorities in the Faroese government's Arctic policy. Our Arctic policy defines the Faroe Islands as a partner in the Arctic and other rel relevant fora and lays the foundation for decision-making processes that help foster development, knowledge and progress in the Faroe Islands and throughout the Arctic. We must act to ensure that the Arctic remains a peaceful and stable region act to mitigate the effects of climate change, act to wisely and sustainably manage our natural resources, and in essence to use a guiding, as a guiding principle the ability that the untamed and often harsh Arctic natural surroundings have taught us to work together across nations to translate challenges into opportunities. One such opportunity is the emergence of new northern sea roads for shipments between Asia and Europe, just to mention one. We are in a process of redefining and strengthening our relations with the European Union, of which we are not a member, but have trade, fisheries, and research agreements. We have recently strengthened our relations and partnerships with both the United States through a partnership declaration and Japan through a memorandum of cooperation, and we hope to engage with more nations in Asia. This is also why the Faroese government in 2019 established a representation in China covering the whole area of East Asia. Now, the heading for this forum, Asia in the Future of the Arctic, regarding science, geopo geopolitics, economy, oceans, climate, and technology, is very much to the point. Standing here in Tokyo today and addressing so many representatives of governments, scientific institutions, businesses, and others being present here at this Arctic uh, Circle Forum 
I appreciate and welcome the widespread interest in our region. The Faroe Islands government invites all interested countries and other partners to cooperate with us on the grounds of a further sustainability goal, namely democratic sustainability. The principle that the interests, will, and ambitions of the peoples in the region shall always be respected as a foundation for the activities and developments in the Arctic region. <clears throat> After decades with the perception and belief of our region as a peaceful, perhaps even unique place, sadly we now feel different winds blowing, sparked by the invasion by Russia of Ukraine, and insecurity coupled by inflation and, ever, and the ever more pressing challenge of climate change puts pressure on us all. The Arctic Council has been a pivotal focal point for cooperation in the Arctic region. The Faroes hope for this forum of cooperation that it will withstand the current stormy waters. In short, the Faroe Islands will continue to be a responsible partner in this regard and will also welcome cooperation with countries further afield, not least as our partners in Asia. We wish for the organizers and participants a successful and fruitful forum. Thank you. <laughs>